Okay, hi there. In the next in our series of short videos looking at key diagrams for your economics papers, let's look at the shape of the average fixed cost curve. Now, this is quite an important one. So fixed costs are those costs that are independent of output. And in the short term, they don't change as the level of production moves up or down. So in theory, fixed costs of a business are the same. The total fixed cost curve is just a horizontal line. Let's assume this is a small business uh, making a particular product and it has fixed costs of, let's say, £500 per week. So those fixed costs won't change. But our focus in this video is the shape of the average fixed cost. So let's uh, do a little simple numerical calculation. Well, if output is, uh, put some numbers here, going from 1, 2, 3, all the way through to 10. So this is output per week on the x-axis. Hopefully you can see that. If output is one unit, then the total fixed cost of 500, well, the average will be 500 because you just divide total by the output. So when output is one, average fixed cost will be the same as total fixed cost. But if we increase output to two, then the average fixed cost will, will halve. 500 divided by two is 250. Likewise, three divided by three, you get 167. If the output goes up to four, the average fixed cost falls to 125. And if output goes up to five, then the average fixed cost falls to 100. So hopefully you can see what's happening here as output goes up. If total fixed costs stay the same, which they do, uh, in terms of output, then the average fixed cost must must keep falling. Indeed, if output goes up to 10, then the average fixed cost falls to, to 50 in this case. So just plotting those points together in a little curve, we get the average fixed cost curve. And you can see that uh, average fixed cost, or AFC, must fall as output increases. Now, this is a significant curve to know about in terms of your economics revision. The fixed cost per unit will go down as output goes up in the short term for a business. As short term production increases, total fixed costs stay the same. Therefore, average fixed costs must fall. And this is an important concept for many businesses, particularly startup and challenger businesses in markets. Because if you're coming into a market for the first time, you'll have a low output but with some fixed costs. And therefore, if you, can, if you can generate some sales, some customers, and if you can increase output fairly quickly, that does help you to bring down average fixed cost. And of course, average fixed cost is part of average total cost. And hopefully that lowers their cost per unit to make them more cost and price competitive. Many businesses these days, particularly, by the way, startups, particularly emerging startup businesses, they try to operate with lean production systems. They try to keep their fixed costs as low as possible. So they might hire out machinery rather than buying it. They might employ workers on much more flexible employment contracts rather than taking them onto the sort of long-term contracted payroll. Businesses that can keep their fixed costs fairly low are therefore more nimble and don't, don't necessarily suffer from the high fixed cost per unit effect of low levels of output. So this is an important curve to be aware of, the average fixed cost curve. It's one of those important ideas that builds into the theory of the firm, and uh, it's definitely well worth having as part of your revision. And hopefully this video was helpful. Don't forget, there's lots of other videos, including one on the natural monopoly.